Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So on my continuing Canon Live tutorial series, today we're going to be going over how to do green screen or using the chroma key effect. Now within your actual effects tab, you can type in chroma key right here and you'll see it under the alpha manipulation effects. So that's what we have right here. And so what I'm going to do here is I do have some video clips that I will use for the backgrounds. And I also have some image clips as well. So I'll show you how they look like uh, in either case. So right now we have some clouds. So now let's go ahead and bring in our image or video that we're going to use on the chroma key. In this case, I actually have a video right here. And this is completely green screen. So as you can see here, okay, so that's what I want. I want to have this playing, but obviously I want the background to show underneath. And that's where the chroma key effect comes in. So all you would do is bring this effect, drop it on the video. Now, this is where you're going to have to play around with this. Like if you actually pick the color key, there are already some default colors. Okay. So say, for example, it's green. It's very simple. You choose that. And then now the effect is on there. And what you have to do is play with this variance. And so this will get it as close as possible to the actual background and the chroma key color. And so it is something you're going to have to play around with. But as you can see here, I think that looks pretty good. So as you see there, it looks like most of the outlines is gone. Uh, but if you play around with this variance, you see like it starts disappearing. So it tries to blend it in as best as possible. And so if you go back down here, see there is no variance. And so you're going to have to play around with that. But I think this one looks pretty good, at least for this video. And let's go ahead and go back to the beginning. Now that is a simple case where this chroma key color works well, but what if you have a case where the color isn't exactly green? Okay. And so I'll give you this scenario right here. Let's drop it in again. Now you have an option here called color picker. Now you pick it and then you choose a color from the screen and it'll match that. Now the thing is, this isn't always perfect. So for example, if I'm now manipulating the variance, see, it doesn't really match perfectly, even though I picked it from a screen. And so you're going to have to kind of play around with it, but kind of the best case scenario is you actually have a true green screen in the background, and then you could just choose this green color and that works out pretty well. See, so you can see how that works. And like I said, you're just going to have to spend a lot of time playing around with it and find a look that looks good for you. So you can see the outline right here is still green. So just keep messing with this variance and you get it as close as possible. You know, it's not the most advanced chroma key effect out there, but for what it is, I think it works really well, but it's all dependent upon, you know, how good your green screen background is. Okay. So the closer you could get it to true green or the green that works for uh, chroma keys, then the better. So I think this one works with the variance of 246. And now let's go ahead and look at a different video background. You could really bring some cool stuff out here. Check that out. Now I'm in space. <laughs> so that looks really cool. I dig that look. And let's go ahead and look at the same thing with an image. Now we're going to be flying over Mount Fuji. It just looks a lot cooler in video, but you could play around with it and find something that works well for the type of video you're trying to produce. So now we are in the middle of traffic in New York City. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. Now what you could also do is if you really want to see where the outlines are and how good your variance is, you could basically let's just turn these off and now you're in front of a black background. So the benefit of doing this way is you could see how close your variance is to removing that green outline. Okay. So if I were to bring it down, see, you see that? So that's the benefit of maybe testing it out this way. So that way you can really see what variance number works the best and gets rid of all those green backgrounds as much as possible. So if I go a little further, it looks like 270 works even better. So right there, 271. And now if I actually put this cloud back in, that looks even better. You know, it just looks like it's seamless. It's almost part of the background almost. So let's go ahead and go back to 271 because I think that looks really good. And as you saw there, you could type it in as well. So uh, not quite. I still see some of that right here. But anyway, you kind of get the idea. Uh, just play around with the variance. Uh, try the various color 
it's available and also the color picker now that is a case where you have like basically a perfect you know, green background you know but what if you have a white background you know what if you have a case where you do not have a green screen well in this case what you could do is you could try to chroma key the color like I have a video right here there's me in front of a white wall and honestly it doesn't work as well so let me show you I drop the chroma key and uh, let's go ahead and choose this color picker okay and as you can see there I completely disappeared so the further you go back the more of the background will show but depending upon the background color see I'm not quite there at all that is pretty much unusable and then if I actually do this whole black background you can see where all of this background is still remaining now that's with me using the color picker and with really scary black eyes that looks scary but um what if I went ahead and tried the default colors to see if that would actually improve in any so let's try that let's see if that works uh, nope not really it did do better than my color picker but still not quite there and then if I actually would have put this back on it would just look really really weird so like I said you have to play around with it and sometimes it's just a case where it just won't work out you know um, even with the color picker even with choosing all these colors this one gets closer but it's just not quite there I think this is the closest but uh, I still have a case where you know some of it's still missing you see so and then you could play around with this and have a lot of fun you could do these things where you just have all types of different uh, effects blended together I don't know why you would do this but who knows you know if you can <laughs> I guess why not yeah there we go now that is a professionally done green key green screen chroma key effect pretty sweet yeah over the top yes looks cool yeah to me it is <laughs> so uh, that is it for my green screen chroma key effects tutorial uh, if you had any other thoughts on this or maybe you had your own ideas of getting uh, this thing to work really well be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you actually did want to see my entire Caden Life tutorial series I will also leave the playlist in the description area below as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet then check out my gold content creators group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there and the best part of it is all of this is free simply head over to the link below check out my page and sign up for my gold content creators group thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.